Greetings, you filthy degenerates, and welcome to... <laughs> I'm really going to work on my marketing a little bit, haven't I? Welcome to Crusader Kings 2, and I wonder why Paradox don't ever respond to my emails. Yesterday, someone in the comment section said, Every episode, it seems like he had a new mod. And I didn't want to disappoint, so today, I've added a new mod. You're asking, what is this mod? Have I added... Uh, HIP? Have I added CK2? Obviously not, you fool. I've added a mod of my own creation. Oh! There they is right now, even. What a what convenient timing that would be. Across the known world, grey lights have been spotted falling from the sky. Though there are many records of rocks descending from the heavens, this time their descent is seen from Ireland to Cathay. Priests and holy men claim that their rocks are messages from their gods, while treasure hunters and fortune finders gear up for great expeditions to find fallen stars. None of this is proof, Fred. If it's garbage, you can blame that guy in the comment section who put the onus on me to make a fucking mod every day. You struggle to believe- I'm trying to do that while turning out three videos a day. Sorry, just as an aside, I'm trying to do three videos a day. I'm in the middle of moving house, and some moron in the comment section says, oh, he's going to make a mod every day. Didn't actually- he didn't actually request it. Sorry, I'm in a little bit hard. Anyway, you struggle to believe that any of it is true. Apparently, you missed the inter Also, more to the point, have you not already have enough of a fucking mod from yesterday where I added an entire conver- Regular council sessions. That is until you retreat to your bedchamber, only to find the ceiling collapsed and a glowing orb resting on your pillow. I must collect more. That's right, my friends. The seven-starred wyvern ball is added to the treasury of Consumer Panchi of Sado. I know it just occurred to me. I've called them the wyvern balls, uh, the seven-starred wyvern balls. They don't have stars. They have Roman numerals. Uh, why I did that, I don't remember. In hindsight. There it is. Ooh, madness. The seven star wooden bowl. Collect all seven for a mythical gift from the heavens themselves, plus VAT. So, we now have a collector thon in CK2. Something to add a little bit of uh, this mod, by the way, I will make available on the workshop because honestly, it's not a terrible idea for those of you who like raiding or treasure hunting. And it will make really for some interesting multiplayer gameplay if everyone's trying to be over seven artifacts trying to be collected all at once. So, oh, we can also equip our fancy sword. Hang on. The seven starred wooden ball. If we get all seven, we can make a wish like none other. Are we going to collect all seven? I will try. Bear in mind that we have the Suez Canal now. We can basically get absolutely everywhere that has a sea tile. We could go all the way up to Iceland if we wanted to. You're probably thinking, how am I supposed to track down the wooden balls? Oh, you fool. He's already thought of that. He's added a button. Display the wooden balls. We can see that the owners of the wooden balls are Daoshi... Shiji of Cheng Yang. He owns the three-star Wyvern Ball. My good man. Oh my god. Are you alright? Your mask seems to have... Again, oh, I made that joke about Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot. One-star Wyvern Ball. There's another one. Uh, and obviously it goes numbers one through seven. I didn't want to surprise you too much. That's actually just a dragon. How can we see that? I thought you couldn't see the dragons unless you were part of the Dragon Society. I guess unless someone marries them. That's pretty... Oh. King Alvaro the Hairy of Navarro apparently got a... Got a a Wyvern Ball and a Gun Bite. How did you get that? Somehow has a Japanese artifact. Okay. Um, we've got this fella as well. He's got a six-star Wyvern Ball. And we also have Inze. Also has the two-star Wyvern Ball. We can collect all of them. And that will give powerful, never-before-seen artifacts. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil it. It can. You can wish for power and glory or whatever really floats your boat. And that's what we'll try and do. Eventually, we can unite the seven Wyvern Balls to summon forth... A big fuck off dragon, I can only assume. Of course, it's a very original IP. Please do not steal or sue me. Now, what were we doing? We were fucking our sisters? That was it. Yeah, I remember now. We were sleeping with all of our sisters. We're currently condensing our blood, whatever that means. Um, which, which, oh, so I also looked into it. This mod, there, there are powers above what we've got right now. I don't know how we get into it. This mod is really, really dense with content. There's a lot to see with this, and I think it's going to take quite a long time before we're able to... Uh, to really scratch the surface. Uh, not only have we got that mod, but of course we've got the other mod that, that adds like the, the other eye powers. Which is going to get horribly confusing when we're juggling like multiple. When we end up having four pairs of eyes, that's when things are going to get a little bit strange. But suffice to say, there's plenty for us to do now. I think this world is well and truly fleshed out. We've got a treasure hunt. We've got magic eye powers. We have magical girls. What more could you want for a very legitimate Japanese historical playthrough? Okay, what we actually want is to try and grab a bit more lands. As we found out yesterday, we don't have enough ships to really do anything at all. We've got room in Niigata, actually, for another... Oh, we have to build a temple, though, don't we? Smiley. Um, 
in the castle. Can we build a... Oh, we can build a castle shipyard here. It's only eight more galleys, but those eight more galleys might make the difference. We want to take our guy out raiding so we can try and get prisoners. We want to try and take anybody who has any eye powers that we haven't bred into our dynasty. So I'll check first the... the what was it called? The, the blood? Was that what the trope was called? Uh, right, here we are. Anyone within Diplo range uh, that isn't related to us would be... No. So they're all related to us. But to be fair, we've managed to propagate this eye power pretty well. Um... What are we looking for? What is that one? Oh, so they're both... Right, so that's the the one bloodline. Let's go ahead and reset all. Are they all? Are both mods? Do they refer to their powers as blood? Because that would be fairly convenient. Wow, look at that one. Imperial Commander. Um, oh, it's lineage for the other one, isn't it? Got it. Okay. Um, and none of you guys are within Diplo range. We kind of want to find someone who has both the lineage and the pristine blood. If we can find that, I believe they're both inheritable. We might need to find a male to marry off matrilineally to one of our daughters, sisters, whatever. That might be the only way to inherit both of those. I have no idea how it quite works. They're still over in in, in Brittany, so we are going to have to head over there. Basically, the second guy is, is back from condensing his blood. Oh, my God. Condensing your blood, accumulating golden drop in your half to strengthen your body. If you, too, want to see me accumulate some golden drop, Rob one d 2 game slash only fans. My lover, speaking of which, my lover, Sandy Cheeks, informed me she is pregnant with child. Ah, there we go. I thought I'd broken something accidentally. Right, okay. So now we can see how many golden drops we've got. We've got. If we get enough golden drops, I assume it becomes a golden shower. There's way too much low-hanging fruit here, isn't there? There's just way too many easy jokes to make. I guess we'll go all the way out to 5 out of 5 on our golden drops, just in case that has the chance of firing something. If it gives us more health, that's also fine by me. Because that means if we go raiding, get wounded, maimed, whatever, there's a... What did that say as that second option? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but basically, it means if we get maimed or injured or anything like that, there's a much higher chance we'll survive it. So we might as well go for the last one then. Um, condense your blood. This is the final time we can do it then, right? Oh! Holy shit, look! Great tier, old Sahenda. Uh, a 1 in 10 talent. Let the world know it has to respect you. Plus 10 to all stats? What the fuck? Wow. And that's from a superior tier. Right, right so, so she's superior tier. We're superior tier. What happens if... Oh, let me just double check again. That, she has the same as us, right? Uh, was it was it you? Right, so we have the same. And then this kid's got an even higher tier than that. So, if we have another kid, a daughter, that has that, we'll have to get those two to perhaps pursue the seduction focus. Holy shit. That's, that's mind-blowing. I had no idea it could go that high. Obviously, we need this kid to be alright. We've got our designation, right? That's part of Shinto. Um, can designate any valid offspring as heir. Right, and it has to be this kid. Boom. And he's quick. Oh, my fucking God. I didn't even notice that. He's quick and burly. Oh, this kid. Look at this kid. Wait, was he always quick? Or did that just come in after the fact? I'm not entirely sure. We'll train him. We'll train him. G give, give me this child. Uh, Nigel Thornbury. Fuck off. I want to I wanna educate him. Given that he is the, the golden boy of the dynasty with the golden blood and the golden eyes, we're going to call him Freezer after my man, Golden Freezer. Perfect. Freezer Banshee sounds like a type of delicious toasted pastry product. <laughs> Another daughter named uh, Cacodemon. We've gained Golden Drop. Five out of five. Uh, Cac Cacodemon? Where'd she go? Oh, wait, was that not our child? Was that like our sibling's child? Uh... Oh, was that? High tier. Whoa! He's even better than our character. One in a hundred talent. Who could have known such a genius could exist? And he's fucking Brant. No, he's main family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we designate him? Can we designate your children? He's strong and genius. What? Oh, fuck. Look at this kid. A one in a hundred talent, you say? Sorry, a Aeon in a hundred. <laughs> um, wow, we have to we we have to keep this kid around for the breeding, for the for the for the, for the breeding stock. Um, right, where's Panchi Freezer? Oh, we did have a daughter pop up on that list. I don't know why it took so long to appear, unless I just missed it. Uh, what are we looking at here? Panchi Cacodemon is just an imbecile. All right, you get no special treatment. In fact, are you even related to us? How are you born with no magic eye powers? Come on, it's magic girl. Yeah, convert to a magic girl. Imbecile magic girl. So now we've got our full, uh, our full blown golden drop. We're ready to burst with golden droplets. We should probably head out into the world. I'm gonna get so fucked to find monetization this episode. <laughs> Let's go to Cornwall. Cornwall? Corn? Corn? Cornwheel? Uh, Brittany. Not, not 
Cornwall and Britain. They all have very similar. It's very confusing. Look, we're going to head over there, and we're going to kidnap some people to uh, breed with our golden freezer. Okay, on the boats. How many troops have we got? Like 4,000? 3,600? Led by their king, Tok Tokitomo. Ah, here. Tokitomo. Uh, we want to go for Panchi. Shugo Consume Panchi. Um... We'll take you as well. Do we not have any other commanders at all? There we are. And now we begin the, what was it, 14, 15 month journey all the way up to Brittany. As I'm beating up a dog, my bastard son, no, not even that, not related to me, a bastard of my dynasty, my aunt's son, comes up to me and hits me with a stick. We are going to beat him. There we are. Perfect. And now the world is apparently on fire behind him. I love that. It's so oh my god, I think we've killed him. Fatigue? Fever? Headache? What the hell did you do to me, weird man? We poked him with the shit stick. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Right, so we want to go for Kerneb, right? Yes, it's you. What was that? What is that thing? I can't even see what it says. Uh, prim Primera? My cursor's too big. Sang Sangri Oculi. Filled with power. Those eye can pierce the sky, but be careful. The sun might blind them. Wow, I have no idea what any of those words mean in that order. Okay, he's also a royal counselor. And then he's also got his fancy blood as well. And he's got the other bloodline too. I hope one... No, again, like I said, they can't override one another. Because I've renamed the trait to something absolutely absurd. So it wouldn't be loaded and break my save game. Okay, um, well, so it would be loaded, but in the right order. So it didn't break the save game. Let's go to their capital then. See if we can take ourselves... Oh, why did I have to curse myself like this? All right, sorry, people. We can't go raiding. I forgot to uh, make the legal declaration that we are raiders, which means we get to go on another 14-month journey all the way back to Japan. Don't we? Mar It'd be better to marry anyone than no one, right? It's just another. It's just more breeding stock at the end of the day. We want to marry someone with with high stewardship. Uh, she's astute. She's also dim and. God, how? What has happened? This, these must be added by a different mod, because they're breaking my mod, which I don't appreciate. She's good. Tall. Burly. Midas touched. Yeah, you'll do. Mega Miko. Okay, sorry. Hang on. Me Mega Miko. To be fair, we are we are winning over Nigel Thornbury, Panchi. Why don't we try and seduce Nigel Thornbury, Panchi, and see if we can bring her into our our cavalcade. Oh, silly me. This is CK2. We don't need to sail back to Japan. We can just teleport. There we are. Okay, there's no rush. And go. Nigel Thornbury, you are ours this time. Granted, there's I've got a higher chance of actually pissing her off just by just by trying to pursue her a little bit early on. Oh, come on, really? Apparently I'm to stay away forever. Okay, so that breaks it, unfortunately. I'm just gonna invite a bunch of women to court, and we're gonna try and keep our bloodline alive as, as with whatever it takes. We're gonna invite all of them, we're gonna seduce every single one of them. Now, when we because right now we're basically at the the, the soft limit for kids, what that means is we're not basically going to have any more if we leave the game. But uh, did you notice how the second we hit, like, seven kids, that's it? Like, we, we, we haven't had any more since then. Despite the fact that everything's the same. You know, we've still got Groom and Air. We've still got Seduction Focus. There is a way to bypass that. And that is by inviting people to court and then seducing them. Because that way, we, we when the event is a success, there's always, uh, like, a flat 25% chance for them just to get Pergonent. So we're going to invite every woman in Japan to our court. Not you, you're old. Uh, every woman in Japan to our court and see if that's... Probably the safer way to try and propagate our bloodline out. What we're hoping for is... See that name? Wow, that was uh, a complicated one. Um, what was that? Whoa. Oh, Jurchen. Right, got it, got it, got it. Um, we'll hope that one of these kids that we have has that really, really powerful eye power that we saw that our fucking brother or whoever it was had. All right, the boats are back. And now we can send them back on their way. In fact, if we want Consummate to uh, consummate, then we probably want to leave him at his court for the time being. And then as we're burning places down, just before we finish the siege, we'll put him back in command. Then pull him off again so that he can be pulled off back in Japan. Why did our everything just change? We just got given a duchy. Why? Vice royalty? It's vice royalty. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping that was a permanent duchy. Um, okay, shit. I was just about to say what the hell happened. What, we suddenly got a vassal in my house somewhere. Uh, me in my room, my lady. Well, that was quick. Good lord. Okay, wow. Now we are Kokushi Panchi Consummate of Echigo, which it was what we wanted to make permanently. Um, we've got a 
kind of do is rely on taking enough land where we could probably just do Serpent or Create it for ourselves if it's ever destroyed. Um, great. I mean, it really just doesn't help us, really, at all. What? Someone drowned Uncle Zoro. What happened to... <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, what happened to Uncle Zoro? Someone assassinated him. Um, okay, that's... Uh, eye powers, help me. What can we do? What, uh, what can we do with the eye powers, actually? Let's let's take a look here. Are they can give us genius? Uh, no, we can just heal our wounds, and that's basically it. Uh, and, and, and obviously becoming attractive, guaranteed. This is where being the emperor of Japan would be really helpful, because that has, don't forget, the thousand concubine limit system. That would be fantastic. That would really save us having to seduce these women instead. Not that he's having any issues with that whatsoever. All right, after a long-ass journey, we are back once again. This time, we are legally declared raiders. Get in there. Kill them all. No, don't kill them all. That's the opposite of what we want. Dollar is pregnant. Thank God. And Tamiko. Oh, there we go. Okay. The bloodline continues once again. Round two. And Shoko. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, he's, he's having a shitload of kids again. I mean, that's fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm certainly not going to complain about that. So what do we marry off the dude with the really powerful eyes that's like a cousin to one of our daughters then? Ah, here we are. Um, let them have them fun. This, this is war after all. This actually will be considered dishonorable. I don't care. Um, general opinion minus three, but we get 10% levy size. That's so good. Um, they're annoyed. We lose a noble district. Wait for me. We gain... Oh, his chance of us getting wrath. That actually could be really good. They lose a dirt track. That's questionable. Especially given what we want to do with these people. Um, hang the culprits. They lose a grain farm. You know, let's go for that one. 10 gold. We lose 400 prestige. Okay, never mind then. Um... Oh, fine. I'll hang the culprits. We still didn't take any prisoners. Kind of knows. Michitake, who has no eye powers. He has the bloodline. I guess he just hasn't awakened it, though. That's a shame. Daughter? Nothing again. I wonder if they need two parents, then. Maybe that is the case. Maybe both parents have to have it. And where I start seducing all these randomers, it's it's Sully in the bloodline. Well, it's, it's better than not having them at all, right? Katsukiko. Is another imbecile. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's wrong with these damn kids this time around? Um, well, as long as we've got these two good kids, I don't really mind. That's the one that gives in the plus. So that's the one we can't make our heir, which is a real shame. Um, that one will marry off matrilineally. He's probably one of our daughters then, like I said. And then, of course, we've got Frieza with the great tier. I mean, it's it's almost as good. I, I really can't complain when at the age of six, he's got 16 Marshall. Oh, cool. Um, we'll take the flat terrain expert. Um... Wow, this is getting annoying. We, we still haven't got any of his family members whatsoever. We'll just have to keep hanging around. Duke Huell of Brittany. Um, this is the right dynasty, isn't it? Yeah, it is definitely the right dynasty. We've just got to stick around and hope that eventually we get lucky with capturing some prisoners. We now known as the what? The bitter. I genuinely thought it said biter them for a second. Okay. Um, the bitter why? I, I've never seen that one before. What, because we're cruel and... Arbitrary? I'm not losing my mind, am I? You can get prisoners from raiding. Right? <laughs> I feel like every single raid we've gone on, we've not grabbed a single prisoner. And to be fair, we don't really have much of a target to go for right now, but it just seems so strange that we haven't got anybody at all with all of these promises. Because I'm basically burning down the whole thing every single time, just waiting for, even though we get no benefit from it, just waiting for the modifier to disappear. Damn it. Well, who'd have thought a lifetime of seduction would have left you with, uh, Horrible Ligma, the less serious form of Bofa. How many kids we got then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 children overall. Let's take a look. Let's go refresh all. What's, it? What's our eye powers called again? Some nonsense. Uh, Sun? Sun blood. Right, let's type in. Uh, so, excuse me, some of my daughters appear to have it too. <laughs> right, 1, 2. Oh, wait. Oh, no, hang on. Some, some blood. Get out of here. Um, you know what? I think we've done a pretty decent job of, of propagating this. I should probably... I don't know in hindsight if this was the right player. Mar maybe marrying off the uh, uh, sisters might have also been an acceptable method. It does look as if... Oh, hello. Uh, 200 gold. Nice. It does look as if all the people that we've... All the people that we've married outside of our own dynasty, all the people that, that obviously our guys had kids with outside the dynasty, just hasn't worked. And there goes 20% fertility. Great. Um, gain land for an unlanded son. No, thank you. Uh, I guess we'll try and become the king of Japan. That would make sense. You know, we, we are basically on like this massive breeding program right now. So it would make a lot of sense if we were to 
try and become the emperor as soon as possible so that we can take the world's biggest harem. Right, I'm done with your I'm done with your nonsense. Get out of here. Um man, that's real shit. What was that other lineage called? There was another one, wasn't there? L lin, lin lineage. Lineage? Uh Linny God, God, take your time. I think I've genuinely just crashed the game trying to find a character. I have. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, the Duke of Thessalonica has the lineage as well. What does that say? Nidus lineage? Um, He's got a daughter, which we might want to see if we can grab on the way back to. Why not? Let's, let's go and stop by, seeing as we're going to be in the area. Or not. Wow, that's a lot of defenders. Okay. Uh, New, new plan. New plan. Uh, we conquer the whole of Japan. We can't go the whole of Japan, specifically like... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? I guess not, then. Uh, tributary to China, I assume? Um, how have you fucked this up so badly? Suzerain? Okay, Suzerain. 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 Tributary. Suzerain. Can't get a load, lost a load. Brilliant, you absolute moron. All right, ships are... Back home. 700 and... My God, we've got a lot of gold, haven't we? Let's go ahead and build the last of the buildings that we've yet to... Uh, yet to add to our capital. So what have we not got? Um, Super Saiyan Apoca 3. Crazy Doctor injects the local monkeys with a mixture of medical compounds until they fly into a crazy frenzy. Enemies who have faced them claim that their screams still echo until this day. There you go. One Super Saiyan Apoca 3, please. Daughter. Still nothing. It's... It, like, the, the kids without the... Unless it's two parents with the awakened blood. I, I guess maybe they'll awaken it later on or something like that. I have no idea. I, I mean, either way, it's given them plus eight or some shit. Yeah, plus eight health, which is absurd. Son? Still nothing. Yeah, okay. So that's got to be the case now, right? That the inheritance works by if both parents have it. And the final thing to build is the... Where is this? Spooky, scary Shinigami. 50 pikemen that have some decent morale and attack their results. Is there anything else we can build? No, we can build our, our actual... Proper Japanese uh, cultural retinue building, which is uh, heavy infantry, but samurai, funnily enough. So we'll go ahead and... How many times can we upgrade that? Four times. For a samurai, Jojo 4-4. Four -four. This guy's within Diplo range. Oh, shit. Daoshi Huai Guang of Chengyang has the three-star weapon ball. And now, my friend, it will be mine. Who do you want to take with us? Bao Yofu. Uh, 24 Marshall plus our own absurd Marshall score means that we are going to annihilate anybody who stands in our way. Leaving one or two events to chance there. How are you doing? Um, oh, you are the insane superpower god kid. I remember. Um, look at this. And how's Luigi doing? Not too bad. He's middle tier. Uh, so it's acceptable. There you go. You can have ambitious. Oh, sorry. I meant arbitrary. You've arrived at Kokushi Panchi Konsu. Oh, right. It's us. Uh, as he spends, he's heavily guarded. There's a group of guards at the main entrance, a servant's entrance at the back, and... I wouldn't know any of the stables. Convince him to let me in. 50-50, because apparently we're shit at diplomacy for reasons unbeknownst to me. Force my way inside. 91% chance of succession. If anybody knows how to force his... Nope. Not making... Not, not touching that one. Move on. Move on. You manage to evade most patrols until you come outside the treasury. Two board guards stand between you and your prize. Rush them before they raise the alarm. Or pose the servant. Give them poison drinks based on our intrigue. Our intrigue is apparently shit, but it's not. Wow. Why is this guy so bad at some of these outcomes? So like the only other martial ones the ones paying off right now. Oh, it's probably because it's a quality 5 artifact, so it's much, much harder to steal, I assume. Um, Luigi, arbitrary? Uh, no, there we are. Ambitious. Nice. That's what I meant to say. Ah, fuck. You want as crafty as you thought and the guards draw their swords? Fight my way out. We've had our hands sliced off and our face ripped open. What? <laughs> so much for our magic eyes then. Okay. Um, can we heal that? With our... Hang on, let's heal that with our golden blood, I guess. Uh, heal a grievous wound. Do it. And how much have we got right now? Five out of five. Boom. What are we looking at now? Five out of five. Oh, the golden drop doesn't actually... Decrease? Oh, that's fine. The formerly Shinto population of the county of Morotsu have converted to the Shinto faith. Good news, everyone. That's fantastic. Just a fucking round of applause for the for the people of wherever that was somewhere. How's Freezer doing? Oh my god, what a mess. Um, got rowdy, willful, indolent, uh, playful and affectionate? What a strange combination. Chance of becoming brave. Okay, well, I guess that's a good start. You should come out decently, I hope. We're the Duke of this area, technically, even though it's obviously a vice royalty. So we're going to lose a few Cassus Belli when our current dude dies, just because right now we've got a lot of Cassus Belli via the medium of 
via the medium of expanded borders. We go for independence, but I don't think that's really going to help out too much. What can we push claims on? Can we conquest any of our fellow vassals, perhaps? Declare war, border disputes. Um, it's genuinely just border disputes already. There's two dukes in the realm besides us. We go for a border dispute over Hida, but when we lose our vice royalty, we'll lose those titles, and then it'll be our capital, Niigata and Hida, and then if we don't manage to gain our borders back before that next character dies, we'll lose that because of exclaves. We need to find a way to cut Swath through Japan, and I think the only way to do it is going to start to be fabricating claims. Except take that sentence and then make it make sense. Thank you. Coin court, preferably. 25. Wow. Uh, Chief Minister of Ben Shi. Let's invite him to call then. And we'll put him as our diplomat. We'll start fabricating claims on the duchy we've already got. I think that's probably the safest way to do it. Um, wait, you fabricate claims on titles you already own? I don't believe you can. Even though technically we don't own the title. I guess we go for the next best thing. Why don't we go for a repeat of the original clan Panchi in the future. Which is very confusing. And start at the top and work our way down. So let's go for the duchy of D D Dewa. Dewa. Um, so we'll start fabricating claims on Ugo. And then we'll head up through here and we'll, we'll try and unify the north and head south. That way, if it breaks out into civil war, we can defend a much more manageable point. Right, that was the kid who inherited the super powerful eyes. He is obviously genius, strong. He is only a skilled tactician, despite the fact that he had every opportunity growing up there. Insane. How's little Squiddy doing? Uh, sorry, Freezer. You know what I meant. Um, he's only 14. None of his bad traits, so affectionate could potentially be terrible here. Indolent could also be potentially terrible here. Charitable would obviously be fantastic. Um, affectionate, kind, content, or trusting. Oh, I guess kind is the only good outcome from that one. Oh, Indolent became slothful. You absolute piss demon. Um, that's actually going to impact his education quite heavily. It's at this moment I could be tempted to go for patient for, for multiple reasons. Number one, it'll help his education and hopefully cancel out slothful. If we go for ambitious, there's a chance that affectionate... Sorry. Uh, can, oh, no, the other one was content, wasn't it? Okay, I guess we go for ambitious then. I was going to say indolent could become content and overwrite it, but obviously indolent's already become slothful. Um, yeah, let's give him ambitious then. Sure. 20, 22, 17, 22, 19, 93. Okay. Yeah, fine. Freezer also became skilled tactician. Oh, my God. And he also became uh, a, a lunatic 40-year-old man. Fine. Cruel or gregarious? I guess we'll give him gregarious. Uh, proud or stubborn? I guess we'll try and give him proud. He gains stubborn anyway. I don't know why I fucking bother. 23, 28, 20, 20, 19 overall. Not too bad. He's a little bit of a nut job, I won't lie. Um, have any of these kids developed any sort of magic eye powers that I can potentially marry off? Oh, God. Some of them seem a bit lackluster, don't they? Um, let's go to... Where's he gone? Let's go to our air. It's right there. There is a button for air in CK2, you, you might remember. Um... Betroth them off to his own sister. No, we can't do that in hindsight. What have we got? We got middle tier. We've got two middle tiers. Uh, they're both getting a little bit old as well. 42, 40. We're going to marry him off to Pat Butcher. She's superior here, actually. Marry him off to Pat Butcher and hope that they can have a kid within five years. He's got great tier. She's got superior tier. That's the best I can offer. Word is reaching this. Why is our blade master living in Etchu? Oh my god, another one? But anyway, we've already got the Koga, Koga Rasimaru. I assume when you've got a sword, that would be it. But let's go for it. Fine. Give me another one. We'll kick his ass. I'll kill him dead. Actually, we should probably do the training first, because that was just like free... Yeah, I'll pay your price. That was free martial training, was it not? This guy found head of a famous holy man. Okay, we'll give him 43 gold in exchange for that. That's fine. Let's, uh, what? Learning? Learning plus one. Hey, not too bad. Daughter was born to Freezer Panchi and Pat Butcher Panchi, named Kakademon again. Uh, oh, fucking what's a shocker there. Here's the issue. It occurred to me afterwards. Uh, Pat Butcher is one of our lovers. So I have a feeling that the real father of this child, or at least Pat Butcher was one of our lovers. Oh, God. Jesus, what happened? She's got the fucking plague? We always see the plague. Someone's hitting them with... There's got to be some dark magic going on there. But anyway, there is that ghost gatherer cult, whatever the hell it's called. Um, I have a feeling this could, could just straight up be ours. Uh, hasn't got the eye powers, though, which is kind of shocking. Two parents with superior powers. Maybe the kids have to awaken. I'm not going crazy. Some were born with with, uh, with, with the ability, right? But yeah, of course they are, because we've seen it multiple times. Oh my god, she's got it as well. Good god. The last thing I want to do then is just make sure there are no other Wyvern Balls nearby that we could potentially steal. I mean, that guy, where is he? He is in Bengal. Okay, we've got this guy. 
I mean, he's quite clearly within dip range. We'll mark him as special interest because, oh, we can give it another go. Shit. I suppose that's been quite a few years. Doesn't seem like it, but time is going by pretty fast. That guy's miles out. Not sure how we're ever going to get that one. Might have to wait for someone else to grab it. This is like a once in a game style thing. So it's going to be very tricky to get this stuff. Um, he, uh, Navara. Navara, we could raid. And this guy is up in Russia. That's going to be very difficult to grab that one. Fucking hell. So a couple of these are kind of prohibitively difficult to get, but when we narrow it down to like one or two left, we can just focus on raiding them constantly, tracking them, making sure that if they change hands that we can get on it straight away. Anyway, let's go for this one again. I'm going to take the Marshal because I feel like that is the safest bet. I think we just got somewhat unlucky. After studying under the old Blade Master for over a year, you know that the man has stopped trying to teach you new techniques. I challenge you, old man, and we're going to annihilate him. Well fought. The man manages to grow before leaving his body. We got a new sword. Um, has a Juzu, a Buddhist rosary decorating it. You know, just about Japanese souls recognize it as Juzumaru rosary that was forged by uh, Oe Tsune Tsugu. It's one of the Tena Gokum, the five beast best swords under heaven. Oh, that sounds pretty... I mean, having one of the five best swords under heaven, don't get me wrong, sounds pretty useful. Uh, is it better than what we've got right now? Martial plus one, personal combat plus 20. It is slightly better. It does give an extra five points of personal combat. Wow, Juicy Maru, there we go. Have to see a man about some balls. Let's force away inside. Call for call position, whatever. Uh rush them before the resident. 83%. Yes, okay, we're in. This is the only step I, I knew that we wouldn't be able to pass. With it with Marshall. This this one is down to like as it says, a little bit of everything. Stewardship, uh scholarly knowledge is on learning. What's the highest percent? 55. Do it. We actually fucking got it. Okay. Two of the seven Wyvern Balls in our backpack. Holy shit. Fantastic news. Whew. That's good. That's good shit. Now, it's going to be very, very hard work to get some of them. Like I said, it's particularly the one up in Russia where we can't raid. We obviously can't navigate rivers or anything like that. So that's going to be... Can we navigate rivers? Hang on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I can never get major rivers. Never mind. We can never get major rivers. We might be able to sail right up to his capital then in hindsight. Because it was somewhere up here, wasn't it? Um, either way, tomorrow we will double check that. If we can get all seven of these, it's meant to be borderline impossible. Obviously, because they spawn in everywhere in the world. For us, it's going to be even more difficult. Bearing in mind that we are right at the edge of the map. So our diplo range is, is much lower than your regular diplo range. Bearing in mind that the, the other half of the map that incorporates... Or actually, our diplo range is going to expand like mostly into this zone. Which is... The void itself. Don't stare too hard, otherwise it will stare back. Thank you all for watching. What a ridiculous episode. I hate this series. And honestly, when it's over, I'm never going to make any meme mods again. We're just going to be a purely straight edge, historical based channel. Thank you to Scared Blueberry, Crow Skull, Roll 2 D1 Games, Buen Gun, Huey Longdong, Harik, Alex, Skaz, Ninja Tree, V, Bad Burrito, 3 and 6, at most of Pelvis personally, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for all you guys for going to that level of channel support. Much appreciated. And thank you as well to Asero, Lampy, Cody Cope, King Snitch Gaming, Silent Sentinel, Cogzel, Emerald Beam, Smooth Octopus, Your Under Breeze, Dranme, Super Nanny 089, Under the Couch, Mathematic, Smart One, and everyone else at Patreon for making this channel possible in the first place. Big thanks to all. See you all tomorrow for more of this garbage. I can't promise another mod for tomorrow, I'll be honest.